Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, click the hire us button, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Do you have a Grandstream GXV3350 that after you try to push the firmware on, you get that red exclamation point or you get a boot loop like you're getting ready to see here? Well, if you do, there's a really easy fix according to Grand, Grandstream uh, tech support, and it does work, and it is in the admin guide as well. But uh, you'll see here in a second that this is going to go back to uh, that red exclamation point after it tries to boot, or sometimes they just keep uh, they just keep going in that, uh, that boot screen order. What you're going to need is you're going to need a USB thumb drive. You're going to need the latest version of the firmware that you want to upgrade to. I'm upgrading to 1.0.3.35. And uh, what you're going to do is you are going to uh, copy this firmware to the root of your flash drive. And then what you're going to do is you're going to unplug the phone. You're going to plug the USB drive into the USB port. Then you're going to come back here to your POE. What's going to happen when the message waiting indicator turns green? You're going to press three and star. And uh, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to go ahead and uh, you're going to push those at the same time and it's automatically going to go ahead and install the firmware off of the flash drive. So I'm plugging it in. It's red. And as soon as it turns green, I'm going to push and hold those. So it's green. You know, you can see that I'm pushing and holding. And now on the screen, it is loading the firmware from the USB flash drive. This process takes about 15 minutes and your phone should be functioning once this uh, happens. So we're going to go ahead and pause. We'll be right back and we'll check this out. All right, so the phone is at it's at 97%. And as soon as at 98, as soon as it hits 100% and it starts to reboot, then I'm going to unplug the USB drive uh, from the back. So it's at 99% now. And once it hits 100, it should reboot. So we're getting close here. 100%. And it is now rebooting so let's see let's see what happens now waiting here oh we got a good grand stream logo and now we should get a second logo here in just a minute and then after that yeah there's our second logo and here in just a second we should boot to the desktop So we'll see what happens here shortly. Okay. Buttons came on. That's good. We haven't seen the red exclamation point. Now, why these phones fail uh, doing the network upgrade? I don't know. They don't all fail. Um, but if they do fail, they occasionally fail. Now you have a way, you have a way to fix it because you can factory default them, but factory defaulting doesn't work you need to actually reload the operating system and look at that phone is now fixed that's all there is to it so your mileage may vary but this works for us and this is way better than an rma right so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok those links are down below if you need it consulting go to willyhow.com Click hire us or fill out the contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron um, on Patreon or by using our clearly marked uh, affiliate links, they are all down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.